Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Garcia from Fireside Yankees, and in today's video we're doing a Yankees prospect report. There's a lot to talk about. The Yankees had an absolutely remarkable day for the farm, plenty of offense from some key pieces, but with that being said, there's a lot to talk about, and if you guys want to check out the written report for this, an article link is in the description on Empire Sports Media, where you guys know to check out for all of your New York sports content. We've got plenty of great articles on there, not just for myself, but for my podcast friends as well, and from other people in the Fireside family, so make sure you guys check that out but let's get started with Jason Dominguez who had a really strong day at the plate hitting his sixth home run of the season he raises his OPS to 811 on the year with a 125 WRC plus and that's in spite of a 212 batting average that people have referenced a lot to detract from his game but quite frankly it's not as important as that 378 OBP it's not as important as that 811 OPS and it's not as important as the process he has at the plate because he's hitting the ball hard he's getting to high exit velocities consistently he's creating a lot of damage content Contact, and he's not expanding the strike zone a lot. Those are the two things that are important for Jason Dominguez. As long as he's doing those things, his results will be great, right? You know, it's all about the process as to how a batter goes about their approach and how a batter sticks to their approach, not so much just the batting average. There are a lot of things that factor into how successful you are as a hitter. Um, I think that's important for us to do with Jason Dominguez, who, you know, is he AAA ready right now? I'm not sure. Um, I'm thinking that the Yankees are going to be a little more patient with double A than they would be with triple A. And that makes a lot of sense. Double A is considered one of the biggest jumps, if not the biggest jump you'll make in your career outside of, of course, going to Major League Baseball. Um, but with that being said, Jason Dominguez has handled the assignment beautifully in my opinion um you know going back to the postseason with somerset last year where he hit three home runs in five games um you know he's responded really well to his initial struggles in somerset last year when he got called up after everson Pereira, who we'll talk about in a second went down with an injury um and considering the media hype around him considering how lofty the expectations became after an excellent spring training to start the year he's responded really well and overall he's doing really good things at the plate and i'm really excited to see how he continues to progress in this month of may where he has a one seven WRC plus and has really tore the cover off of the baseball but with that being said let's talk about Everson Pereira for a second here because he also went yard for his sixth home run you'll notice a trend here with six home runs uh but Everson Pereira another outfield prospect he just turned 22 a couple of weeks ago he's a really excellent and talented prospect he's a guy who's got really good power tools great athleticism he's someone that I imagine the Yankees are going to include in their plans down the road either as a trade piece or as an outfielder He's already on the 40-man roster, so the Yankees protected him from the Rule 5 draft before he even got into Double A. That speaks to how much they value him as a prospect. I wonder if he has a future in the organization, not because there are so many outfield prospects, because yes, Spencer Jones and Jason Dominguez are going to create some pressure, um, but because the Yankees are a competitive team, so they're always going to be looking to trade prospects, and they're going to avoid trying to trade Jason Dominguez or Anthony Volpe, obviously, so those other position player prospects that aren't as highly touted become a little more expendable, so I I wonder how the Yankees will handle that. I think Everson Pro is extremely talented. He has an 832 OPS on the season and a 124 WRC plus. And last night he went two for four at that home run in single. So, you know, overall, I, I think he's played really well in double A. His WRC plus in double A, looking back to last year, was 128 before he got hurt. And of course, that opened the door for a Jason Dominguez promotion. But, you know, overall, Pereira is a really strong prospect. He's someone who's got a lot of tools. It's just injuries and strikeouts for him. And if he can find a form of consistency, he'll definitely pop off more as a prospect and you'll hear more buzz around him but all of this depends on his health all of this depends on his consistency and so far in the month of may he's done really well so it's all about just making sure he steadies that ship and stays progressing forward so with that being said a guy who i think is basically mlb ready with a bat is austin wells in 12 games with somerset he has six home runs he hit his sixth last night he added on another hit and a walk on top of that bringing his wrc plus to 181 on the season slugging over 700 he's done an excellent job with Somerset and considering that he's only played 12 games because he started the season sideline with a rib injury yeah I think that rib is pretty healthy um look the Yankees can say that he's got to do more work defensively behind the plate that's fine but look here's the thing he's too good to be in double a you can have him do that work behind the dish in triple a I understand they called up Carlos Narvaez from double a recently so it'll be a little bit weird to call up Austin Wells right after that but in my opinion it never really made much sense to give Austin Wells uh, you know, 
a bunch of reps in double a it, it doesn't make much sense he's just too good of a hitter he currently has an 882 career ops in double a 18 home runs as well he's just destroyed that level and he deserves a promotion he's been too good and quite frankly if they want to give him work in the uh, at the catching position austin wells is someone that would definitely benefit from working with kyle Agashioka and jose trevino at some point down the road so um the quicker you can get him working with them i think the quicker he'll develop as a catcher but he has some collegiate experience in the outfield um you know he's got a pull happy switch wing that can get the ball in the air consistently and those are just things that are going to play extremely well as a left-handed hitter in Yankee Stadium he's also older than Pereira and Dominguez so it's not a situation where I'm asking the Yankees to call up a 20 year old or someone who just turned 22 rather I'm asking them to call up someone who's 23 and has played in college and has plenty of experience and is more than ready to handle you know professional pitching so you know I really do think that Austin Wells is someone they should fast track um I think that him still being in double A is a little bit silly but hey I hope he continues to crush it and I hope he forces the Yankees hands soon but with that being said, some other guys who are a little more under the radar who had pretty good nights last night were Tyler Hardman, who had a five RBI night, including crushing his seventh home run of the season. Um, and we also saw two really good pitching performances. Now, Will Warren is not a guy that I would consider, you know, under uh, under the radar or you know a sleeper prospect in the yankee world but maybe on a more larger media sense i think he needs more attention and last night he made his triple a debut tossing six frames two runs both of them on solo shots four strikeouts no walks he looked excellent right um you know considering this is his first start in triple a and the triple a run environment has been insane i mean the baseballs are flying there um you know this is a really impressive outing again will warren showing up and showing out you know he was able to get soft contact when need be he was able to make some big pitches he was able to get some big strikeouts and he didn't walk anyone so overall a strong first outing for him in triple a he improves to four and all in the year with a 255 era and 43 strikeouts on the year um you know i i really do think will warren someone that the yankees are going to draw a lot of attention to and they're going to get a lot of calls for but i wonder if they're willing to move him at the deadline quite frankly i think he's a future part of this rotation and he's someone who's got electric stuff. And considering the amount of pitching prospects they just traded last year, I wonder how keen they are on trading their top pitching prospect, who's just a couple of really good starts away from being considered major league ready you know i say a couple but it's more like five or six but if he really just starts putting it together and has an unbelievable stretch with the uh, scranton rail riders you're gonna feel like this guy's major league ready so it's a matter of if he can put it together it's a matter of you know if his command is there if he's able to sustain the velocity gains but he's been really good for the yankees so far this year and i i really do think he's someone that the organization values highly um another underrated arm is brock selvage who doesn't get a lot of buzz in the new york or general media in general uh you know he's a phenomenal prospect so far you know he's pitched really well i know that the velocity isn't there yet he's sitting around 91 92 from the left-handed side but he's just 20 years old he was a third round pick out of high school in 2021 this is still a guy who's growing this is still a guy who's filling out his frame you know typically guys don't max out in velocity at the age of 20 we see plenty of guys you know he's in an age right now where he would be starting to consider where he's gonna go get in the in the mlb draft right and we see guys make huge velocity strides will warren of course being one of them um you know if he can continue to build on his velocity and he can continue to you know work on his command which he's improved mightily this year he's walked under five percent of batters we could be looking at a serious pitching prospect here look last night he was really impressive four innings one run seven strikeouts awesome just an incredible job um and on the season he's got a 374 era and a fip under 33 in his career as a professional 80 innings 32 era a 33 fip excellent pitcher so far the strikeout to walk rates are really good the ground ball numbers are really good it's just a matter of him figuring out the velocity getting a little more comfortable at the professional level and growing into his own body but this could be a real sleeper prospect so brock selvage keep your eyes on him guys but with that being said that'll wrap up our prospect report for today we hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys like what you guys see make sure to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video peace out